Hey, what's going on guys? It's your old pal CHH. We're back on the couch. I'm trying to figure out when I do couch videos. I feel like when I do a 4K review or something, I should sit on my ass on the chair. Um, but look, <laughs> regardless, uh, today we're talking about Insidious. When did this movie come out? Was it like 2011 or something? I feel like that was a lifetime ago. I, I think I remember hearing about Insidious coming out in 4K, but it just kind of came into my mind and then left my mind, kind of like I was going into the further. But when I realized that today was the day, when I'm filming this anyway, that it got released, I was like, you know what, like, I did like those movies, and I really liked Patrick Wilson, that's his name, right? In those movies, so like, why not go grab it? So, uh, I went to uh, Best Buy and got the new 4K steelbook of Insidious. Um, it's crazy that, like, I, the trailer for the new one shows this kid, and he's a grown-ass man. I'm just like, God, I'm, I'm getting so old. Uh, but, you know, of course, Patrick Wilson looks exactly the same as he does since in this first one. Uh, but we're going to talk about this 4K release. I'll be brief. I'm not really going to review Insidious. You've all seen the movie. You already have a feeling about it one way or the other. Rewatching it now for the first time in a number of years... I, f I was telling my wife, we were watching it, I was like, are you a bigger fan of this than you are the Conjuring movies? And she's like, yeah, I think I kind of am. And I was like, I think I know what it is for me. I much prefer Patrick's character in this than the Conjuring. The the, the Warrens, is that they're, they're way too cookie cutter clean in those movies. Like, I understand those are serious, you know, scary movies. And this one, I like the little bit of humor they have with it, with Lee Winnell and his buddy that are working for... Lin Shay and stuff, but what I really like about this movie is like the characters, for the most part, are really human. There's that over the topness, of course, with the your son is possessed, like all the stuff. There's the speeches and the horror stuff that I like, but I really like Patrick's character. He's he's a little he's a little bit in denial of what's going on, plausibly, it, like it's believable when he's just like, okay, this is enough. You guys got to get the hell out of here. Like you, you know, I like that about his character, and I like that you know. He was really vulnerable to what was going on to the point to where he was trying to avoid going home. He was scared to go home. And that made me really, really like his character in this. There are some things that are a little kind of just like, okay. Like, for instance, the dad, you know, he's just like, he kicks him out of the house when Lin Shay's trying to tell him about the further and all this. And then they just moved into this new house, mind you. So that means the kid had been asleep for a long time, had done all these drawings... And the dad finally sees the drawings of the Darth Maul look-alike that the kid drew and put on the wall that somebody had to take and put on the goddamn wall because the kid's been asleep since the last house. And I'm just like, who put that shit up on the wall and didn't think nothing of it? <laughs> you know, it's small stuff like that, but like, you know, I can forgive stuff like that. It just is what it is, you know. Uh, but I, I don't know if you would call it plot holes per se, but they're just silly things. Like, you mean nobody noticed the damn Darth Maul picture the kid drew? <laughs> but all in all, it's a fun movie, and I like it, and uh, I think it's hysterical that the Darth Maul look-alike loves to listen to Tiny Tim. Like, <laughs> he's just chilling, sharpening his fingers, listening to Tiny Tim. Uh, I couldn't tell if he was listening on vinyl or not. I'd have to go back and, and see, but okay. The 4K of Insidious, I was super happy. Uh, this is why I went to 4K. Uh, going into this, I was like, okay, this movie came out, and when? It's going to be interesting seeing a movie from this time, the way it's going to look, and, um, yeah, this Insidious 4K looked, quite frankly, really good. I mean, like, it was a 9 out of 10 4K. Um, remarkably better than the old Blu-rays and DVDs that I have of this. I think I have a Blu-ray, maybe a DVD as well. I might have still been buying DVDs at the time, but, uh, if you're a fan of this, the picture and audio quality on this was damn near perfect. I'd give them both 9, nine out of 10s. Uh, extremely sharp. Extremely, extremely sharp. Um, and I noticed in this one, in scenes in the movie, and I don't think I ever really noticed this much before watching on 4K, you'll see the color timing changing in a shot that uh, James Wan did, which is just remarkable. Uh, but yeah, this gives me a lot of hope, you know, to see movies around this time that could look incredible in 4K, because I don't think I've watched a whole lot of stuff from when is this, 2011, 2012, 2010 maybe, on 4K before, and this was remarkably good. I was super, super surprised and happy. The night scenes, you have a ton of clarity. 
Uh, it really reminded me of that Godzilla 2014 4K where they really made the picture quality at night look incredible, way better than the Blu-rays and DVDs, and even in the theater, if memory serves. But yeah, stellar, stellar. Uh, the back side of the 4K shows that red door that, uh, you know, it's in the further, if you will. Let me pull up this digital code. I'm trying to sell that digital code. But here inside the steelbook, you're going to get, last night I watched myself sleep. Uh, you're going to get your 4K disc uh, and then your Blu-ray disc. And on the other side, I hate the, the way, I hate these. I wish they would just put one disc here and one disc here. I hate having to pull it out on the other one. Then I flew away. It's got that right there. So pretty cool. Uh, it, it's a, it's not the coolest looking steelbook I've ever seen. But quite frankly, I, I appreciate the fact that they just gave you like the art from the movie and didn't do nothing over the top silly like some of them did like some of them were just bad but you know I'm actually happy I got this like no lie this looked really freaking good uh, I didn't notice any jump from the blu-ray disc because I did test that so really it's only if, if you're a 4k person get it uh, because I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was just the old blu-ray scans of this movie let's look at the special features I don't recall seeing anything new or quite frankly really great but let's look at that real quick Alright guys, so there you have it. I'm going to give this release um, one thumb up, not two thumbs up. It would be nice to have something new, but you know, I'm, I'm, it's a very enthusiastic thumb up because the 4K did look really good. So there it is guys, I'm going to leave it off right there. If you're interested in the new Insidious uh, 4K, uh, check your Best Buy. I don't know if this is on Amazon or not. This might have been a Best Buy exclusive steelbook, I'm not sure. But I actually do recommend it if you're a 4K person. I was super happy with the picture quality on this remarkably good remarkably good so there it is guys insidious on 4k uhd check it out see you guys next time huge giant thank you to all of my patreon supporters without you guys this would not be possible to get behind the scenes photos videos music private live streams and much more you can subscribe to my patreon for as little as a dollar a month thank you to my patrons